Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Rides World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way. I am here with another one of the Barbie Tokyo 2020 Barbies and this is the Karate. Um, I'm very excited that I'm able to find these dolls on clearance for great prices because I purchased the complete set when they came out, but I purchased them with the intent to keep them in the packaging because they are going to be collectibles in my collection. And I don't know what the value of them will be later on because this event did not occur because of the pandemic. But I found this girl here for $9.98 at Target on clearance, which is a great price because these dolls typically go for $19.99. So I, $9.98, I, I thought that was awesome. I wish I could have found the others, but I couldn't. They were not available. Um, each doll comes with her full gear. She comes with a jacket with the Tokyo 2020 logo on it and a medal. And here is the packaging. I love the artwork here on the packaging. I think that is adorable. And then you got the karate symbol there on the box. It's really awesome. Then here on the back of the packaging, we have more art um, pictures of the doll. And she's very beautiful. I know that you guys know what face mold this is. None of these dolls have new face molds. I don't get into the naming of the face molds, but I am pretty impressed with those of you out there that know the names of all these face molds. This is um, Tokyo 2020 official licensed product. So this is the real deal. This is part of the Barbie You Can Be Anything line. And karate is an art form made up of striking, kicking, and punching movements performed with power and concentration. Competitors of karate are called karateka and must compete wearing a G and traditional karate suit. The Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will feature kata, where competitors individually perform a series of offensive and defensive movements and commute, commite a form of sparing on a mat between two athletes. Not sure if I pronounced that word correctly. Do you love karate? You can be a karateka. I think that karate is a very intense and skilled sport and I do enjoy watching it. I mean, I grew up on Bruce Lee movies and I thought that they were, it was just fascinating. It's a very awesome skill and um, I respect the I respect the sport a lot, and I think that is pretty awesome that we can have a Barbie that represents that sport. So, without any more waiting, let's go ahead and unbox this beautiful doll. All right, so I'm trying to get guys. I have had paper cuts trying to slide my fingers into these packaging packagings. So I have gotten to the point where I am really really careful. Um, turn the box up, but I'm not going to save it anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, so here she is. Let me get my scissors so I can cut her free from the box. All right. I really liked the softball player, so if you would like to check out the review on the softball player, I've done that one recently here on the channel as well. These dolls have... Um, a little bit of articulation for those of you that love articulation and I think most of us adult collectors do I hear some of you say the articulation doesn't matter to you now if it's gonna be a doll that I'm just gonna put on display or just have in my collection I guess it doesn't really matter as much but I think when you're gonna have a doll especially a karate doll you want the doll to be able to me as a photographer as a person that likes to photograph her dolls, a doll photographer is what I call myself, you want that doll to have movement so that you can pose her or him to look realistic in the photos. Alright, this is why I try not to do openings on um, camera, 
but I thought that she would come out easily, and she's giving me a hard time. All right, so let me put her here on the stand real quickly while I cut out the rest of her accessories here. I'm so glad that I'm able to unbox and share her with you guys because these dolls are really awesome and they're a lot of fun to open and play with and photograph. I had a lot of fun with the softball player. She is very beautiful. I love her face mold, her skin tone, her eye color. She has a beautiful light brown eyes. I like the dark um, eyebrow. I just like her face sculpt. I like how they designed her. I love her hair color. I think it's beautiful back with her skin tone. She has her hair in a high pony with a red um, elastic band. And I mean, she's just got a beautiful face sculpt. She really is. She's just gorgeous. Okay, so then she wears her gi. And again, the fabric on these pieces is very nice. It's really weighted. Seems like it's going to be and it's going to endure lots of play, you know, without, you know, being destroyed too easily. You have the Barbie logo there on the top. And then she's also, it has a black belt that is stitched to the back. But you are able to um, untie it and um, open it up. She has a white um, sleeveless tee underneath. And she wears a pair of pants with the elastic waistband. And again, I think that it's really, really nice. I don't want to untie it. I have a really hard time tying perfect bows and um, knots. So I'm going to leave it tied for now. And she's cute. And um, then she has on her protective gear on her hands there. And of course, you know, we've got the Barbie logo on them. This is what it looks like on this side of her hand. Then she also wears protective gear here on her feet as well with the Barbie logo. Her articulation, her head turns from side to side. Doesn't tilt up and, yeah, a little bit tilting up and down a little bit. She has articulation at the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist, the hip and the knee. So they got a, they got a real nice um, range of articulation and they make good poses for photographs. I really like that. Then she also comes with her gold medal and it does have the Barbie logo on this side and on that side. And the neck piece has a um, elastic stretch in it. And then each doll also comes with her jacket and it has the Barbie logo here on the front and that design. It has the Velcro open closure in the front where you're able to open it all the way up. Then on the back, you have the Tokyo 2020 um, Olympics um, symbol there on the back. And they are, again, very nicely made and a lot of fun. And, you know, as a collector, even though these are Playline dolls, they have pretty cool collectible quality in my opinion. I am really pleased and excited that I was able to find one for a great price and able to share it here on the channel with you guys through an unboxing. So that was pretty fun. So I'm glad that I got her out of the box. You guys know I did a, a room tour of um, this chaotic doll room of mine and I kind of had it under control and then I went on a doll hunt last week and found so many awesome bargains so now I gotta find somewhere to put the stuff that I have bought and um, get it out of the way so some of the things I want to go ahead and unbox so that's why I decided to go ahead and I bought her to unbox her so she's been unboxed and reviewed and I can get rid of her packaging you doll lovers out there, you know, I wish that I could have whew, more discipline and stick to one brand, maybe. I don't know. But I pride myself on collecting so many different kinds and diversity. I just enjoy the different dolls that are out there. And when I see a new doll, I just got to have her in my collection. So I guess that's just something I'm going to have to accept, that I'm just going to have crowdedness. And, you know, you just have to have a, 
a system where you put some of them on display when you can and you just rotate them out. That's just the way it's going to have to be, I guess. <laughs> Guys, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I am Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Don't forget to stay to the end because I definitely would do a photo shoot and show you guys more close-ups of this beautiful doll. Guys, continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next review. Yeah.